Okay. So, I wanted to show off a, a material that I've been kind of playing around with. Um, I've been trying to figure out uh, one of the ways that I could maybe represent clouds um, on a larger scale uh, for a game that I'm working on called Dear Sister. So, I started thinking about um, clouds and how they move in the sky. And sometimes, you know, that looks like they can move like water. Uh, so I started thinking about that uh, and how maybe I could represent that here in uh, in Unreal. And the more that I started to play around and stuff like that, some of the only cloud uh, tutorials that I found were about pushing vertices around on a mesh. And that's very cool. Like, it looks awesome, uh, but it can get kind of expensive, especially if you want to have really big meshes in your scene. Um, for me personally, like, I every time I would drop one in and scale it up a bit and add three or four more, my frames would take a, a big hit. So um, I started looking at other ways uh, to do that. Now, um, I stumbled upon an article, um, and let me see if I can bring it over uh, right up here. So Ocean Shaders uh, with Gerstner Waves, and I started thinking about that, and I wondered if I could adapt it to make it look a little bit more like clouds instead of uh, water. So... That is what you see going on right here. Um, this is that tutorial, a uh, little autosave, cool. Uh, that is that tutorial with a few things that I've kind of thrown in as well. Um, like I added a little opacity. So if you, well, if you can see it a little bit, but the light shines through the top layers right here. Not all the way, but enough that it kind of gives it like a softer look right here. Um, I parameti parameterized, whatever, uh, <laughs> is, eh, words. Uh, anyway, you can change everything here, which is cool. Uh, for me, like if I want to change the amplitude of what's going on in the screen, say if I want to jack this up from 20 to, you know, say 50, boom, you've got rolling marshmallows, right? So, I'm gonna change that back because that's just scary. Um, you can control wavelength. Um, I added in a little bit of uh, tessellation multiplier here, which uh, if I crank it up, you can see it defines it a little bit more. Uh, going down to one is very, very soft. So I tend to leave it around two or three. Uh, you can also control speed, which is really cool. If you throw in a normal, uh, you can do that as well. Uh, let's see. Either way, uh, what I found after my time of working on this is that it could be something that I, I really use. Um, I have scaled up the size of this landscape, and that's all this really is. It's a material that is... Uh, put onto a landscape that, you know, I've sculpted and moved around a little bit and made it look like little clouds or whatever, but um, I've scaled up the size of this landscape and had it go as big as you can get in-game, and it did not drop frames at all. Um, speaking of that, that's actually one thing I'm going to show you here. Uh, Performance-wise, shader complexity, it is super green. So if anybody watched uh, Fifth Element, Never mind words. So uh, that's it. That's all I kind of wanted to show you real quick is just um, you can take a concept for clouds. You can, um, you know, apply the Gerstner wave functions to it and you can get some kind of cool results actually. So um, this is obviously not the best way to represent clouds. I know that um, sometimes it kind of looks like... Um, Oh, what is it? Marshmallows that is heated up in the pan or something, but um, it's not the best way to do it. Um, but it's just kind of how I found right now that works, and it's kind of cool. Uh, if you guys have any other like awesome ways that you could use to represent clouds in uh, in, in Unreal, please uh, let me know. I am always open to feedback and what I can do to make things better. But um, until then, uh, let's see. I probably would not do a tutorial on this because it's super long but i would recommend you guys check out the article i'm going to link it below um, if you follow it read through it 
um, you can get the same results here, which is pretty legit. So, uh, but anyway, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And, uh, let me know what I could do better or what is working well. So, all right. Thanks.